Okay, so you're seeing my Photoshop screen. If you don't know um, uh, Photoshop, there is an entire course on it that includes discounts and how to download, but it is a paid app. So um, I know people use something else on Macs, um, but you can use Photoshop. Anybody in the Eddie group will give you recommendations to alternatives, but but my, my boo bears <laughs> takes money to make money, and one of the best investments of time and money I have ever made is understanding Photoshop. Okay, I'm done with my sales pitch. I make no commissions on it. So we're working with two cookies in the Eddie software. So the goal is to just print beyond the size of those cookies, and I just forgot the size. What was the size of the biggest cookie? It was like 3.2. Okay. So the biggest, so we're measuring the biggest side because Eddie prints in like a square concept, like a square and circle. So we have to have equal sides, which means if the cookie was, you know, one by four, we'll be printing four by four. And that's why you get that overspray. And if that doesn't mean anything to you, don't worry about it. We're going to demonstrate it a little bit. But we do want overspray because we want Eddie to print beyond the border of our cookie for what we're doing here uh, for patterns, right? So right here, I'm going to close back here. We're going to go to file. Or we could do create now right here. I'm doing untitled four by four, 300 pixels per inch. That's my standard. Um, it creates a high quality file, four by four. Because the cookie is 3.3, we're gonna overblow that a bit. So here we go, and here is our file. Now I'm going to pull us into Shutterstock. So for our day job, we have a Shutterstock license, which is allows the download and reproduction of images, and Corey wants school paper. Generic shirts. Uh, Shutterstock does let you purchase per image, or you can do these package plans. I think Corey and I do quite a high-end plan. Um, maybe this is the stew lined paper. Shutterstock. And it allows us 50 downloads a month, which we never hit that cap, and it does not roll over. Something to keep in mind, but it is cheaper to do that than to just buy them uh, one at a time. Lined paper. Okay, quick search. Uh, I think Corey wanted brightness. Corey, do you like just generic lined paper? Are you looking for anything specific? There is this. Are you, where are you? Shutterstock. So right now my heart says this guy right here. That's cute. Or this guy. So this one has a little bit of a deeper red line. Does that work? That works. There is this cute design on Envato. Elements? Uh-huh. Okay. Just Let's... typed in back to school. And this is what I had in my mind. This is something, that we're doing the background and then we're gonna put an overlay on it. Oh, you're doing two and one. That's what the uh, mock-up be something, let's oh, put it back. So uh, Envato Elements, really love this app. Again, paid for. Do you know where it is, Corey? Um, I would have to look it on my computer, but let's try your thing and then I'll find it. Okay, you can go sit down. I'm going, and if you could send me the hyperlink to that. Sure. Great, okay, so we're gonna download this. I'm gonna change it from vector to large. I want to, vectors are something that we can open in. Um, Illustrator, and I'm not working in Illustrator today, and I'm not actually very good at Illustrator, so we're gonna take this down to Photoshop. I am sloppily saving this on my desktop because I know I won't be using this again, um, and I usually clean up my desktop once a week because I'm weird like that. Okay, so we're gonna bring this paper in. I just opened the file, I went to File, uh, Open, and found this on my desktop. We can unlock the layer, and I'm gonna drag and drop it here. And see, uh, obviously it's way too large. <laughs> this is a very large image. So on my computer, I'm gonna zoom out. If you don't wanna use, darn it, I don't know what I'm doing. So I, my, my, the recording software is covering up my little dock here, so I'm pulling them out. Um, if you don't wanna use the, record, uh, the keyboard shortcut, which you should, it saves a lot of time, we're going to pull this in here. So remember that I said there's some overspray, right? Um, so let us make sure, this is four by four, and Corey said that the uh, cookie was 3.3, so let's use our guides. So we're gonna have bleed lines, number of columns, and let's do the margin. Uh, so we have four, let me just pull a calculator off here to the side, excuse me, excuse me. This isn't scientific, but hey, why, why struggle here? I don't want you guys to see my math, that's why you pulled it off to the left. So we have four inches and then 3.3 roughly, so we need a 0.7 margin and we're gonna just copy and paste this really I'm looking for more of this left and right margin so we definitely have this um, red line here I kind of want to move them to the center and I know like you're saying oh no look I have some dead white space there's some many ways to fix this but we're just gonna duplicate the center section right here and I added it and I can drag and drop it here so that ensures that this red line is going to still be in my cookie because like I said the cookie is height its width is not um, as wide. So the width, 
I didn't think we measured it, but I want this to be more in the center of my cookie. I definitely want the red line that says, hey, this is paper. Corey, did you send me that link? I sent you one. I sent you one, yeah. To which email? To Heather at Carter Rocket. My work email. I tell you guys, I love me some Gmail, and uh, I have many of them. So let me just pull up my work, and Corey sent me a link to, sh uh, to that Envato thing. I actually found it on Shutterstock. Shutterstock. Well, I haven't gotten it yet, so. We got it. Okay. I'm going to just download this real quick off your guys. I'm going to pull this back into your view screen. And again, we're going to change vector to large. I don't want to work in vectors, but Corey actually has, ha this has line paper in the background. Corey. Mm. Okay. Well, what would you like? Would you like the line paper that you have here? Or would you like this graphic overlay on top of this paper? So you have the off white. My heart does not mind. <laughs> Which one do you prefer? Uh, I would like whiter and then the graphic light on it. Okay, she's pushing us into Illustrator, guys. I want you to notice that I am downloading the vector file now, and I am going to show you, and I'm going to trip through this because this is the only way I know how to use Illustrator is to absolutely trip over myself, but it works. Now, if you guys have paid attention to that, my cat's leaving. If you've paid attention to the Photoshop course, you'll understand that I pay for the entire Adobe Suite using a student discount. I am in college, so it is not a lie, but it saves me a bunch of money. And we do use more than the basic two apps, the uh, Photoshop and Lightroom, that come with the cheapest package. So I think what you'll see is that I use Photoshop, Lightroom, Audition for the podcast. I use Premiere Pro for videos, and I use um, After Effects for some things. And then sometimes when I am desperate, I will use Illustrator, which we are doing right now. Okay. Okay. Same deal, uh, just a little bit of a different interface, but we're going to go to File, Open, and find this guy on my desktop. Where did we save you? Now, the EPS files, which you'll see some people talk about when they have logo files, this is what this is. And a vector file, I'm going to press Control Z on my, okay, that doesn't work in this, Control Z. There you go, Control, Control Zero. Uh, centers the image. So what we want to do is we want to see if we can separate these things. Again, I'm not the file designer, so we may not be able to do that, but let's ungroup and see what happens. When I ungroup, it actually, wow, it really, um, it really just ungroups all of this. Let's see if we can delete this background. Oh goodness. This is when you realize that you're not actually good at something, is when you have to do something out of your element. Let's, let's get rid of these. So I'm going to just get rid, Corey said she wanted it wider. Why we can't do, I'm not going to use that other image. I'm going to delete this part. You've got to be kidding me. I'm going to pause this, guys. I'll be right back. No one should have to sit through this with me. Give me just a second. I'm back. We abandoned the last one. See, that's the thing. I really need to learn Illustrator. But when you don't, you are stuck to the limitations of your own brain. But anyways, Corey had found another file she liked. Thank goodness. We're going to export as, and I'm going to export this as a PNG. I'm going to say school thing. I don't know. Um, that's not the right name and I want to make sure that my background is transparent we're going to see what that looks like in Photoshop again I'm not the file creator so I'm kind of flying blind here where's my school thing who's working on it working on the export come on buddy and I can see my um, crazy desktop here we go school thing opens and do we have a transparent background I know the images themselves aren't transparent and I don't prefer that so let's see if we can do something about this. I know a little extra, little Photoshop. And you're like, I just want to see you put on the Eddy. Hush. We are still working. Uh, we're going to select color range, and I'm going to select this white here. Um, we use this in the uh, Photoshop class. I'm going to delete that color, and you can see now I have an outline, which is great. I'm going to show you what happens if I don't. Let's pretend I didn't delete that, and I pulled this over onto my image. Where I, I'm going to pull this up over my image, and again, it's too big, so let's downsize him. That is control T, but ooh, this image is big. Bring it way down, pull him way back up. And we have the pattern, excuse me, did not mean to move my alignment bar, but I want to show you something. So he's resizing, give him just a second to think. I have a lot of stuff open on my computer. We're going to control zero to bring it in. And I want you to see that the lines don't go through the image, which is actually probably cuter now that I look at it. But let us go through here and remove that. I'm going to press Control shift z oh, Man, I messed it up when I did that. Anyways, go to Select Color Range. Excuse me. Excuse me. Select Color Range. Select here. Okay. It selected the white in the image, which is the only color outside of black. 
and now we have just this print and I'm going to show you the difference of these two again we're working a JPEG so it has a transparent background drop the size of this way down bring this way up and I'm going to show you the difference of these two give me a second to think and we're going to press control zero to bring it to size this is my original uh, the one with the things and here's my other option is you see that there's lines through it. Now looking at this, I made the decision that I prefer the solid image. I like this a lot better. It looks a lot cleaner. We have the red in here as a little spark of red. Corey, do you want any colors? You want to keep it pretty simple. Keep it pretty simple. Come here real quick and let me see if we can interest you in some color. So right, ha right here we only have one single color. So I can ask Corey using the fill tool if she would like to add a paintbrush red or a tube of red or maybe we could just add this red and it's going to just insert into this image a little bit of red and now it's up to like you if now. you wanted it I want to know. <laughs> okay is there anything else you'd like to re be um, red i like that we're keeping them spaced out maybe I do. this right here would be kind of cute red um give me some could you do oh that's good Okay, I like it, maybe I like this it. note is red. Yeah, yeah. So now all this stuff is going to print because we are printing outside our area. So we're going to just add a few more things here to keep it interesting. This stuff along this bleed edge, which is what we created, we're not going to see much of that. So as long as we keep some stuff here in the center red, Corey's going to get a little bit more of that effect that she wants. Um, so we can make right. him. <laughs> Does this look fine or do you wish you had more red? No, I like it. Okay, so we have some red here. It's a really cute print. Again, there's overspray, and you can see my alignment area here. I see why you did red, because it's an apple. Yeah, it's super cute. <laughs> this is what happens, kids. Do not get a twin sister with an endless memory. So we're going to file, and I'm going to export this as a JPEG. Um, again, Photoshop, uh, Photoshop. Eddie does not print white. Um, I'm sorry, it's save as in this application. I'm going to save him as a JPEG. Eddie... And then I like to put my 4x4 four four so future me can reference. And we're going to do Apple print. Okay, hold on tight because next up I'm going to bring you guys into uh, Corey's computer. Same me though, me. And we're going to bring you into the Blender. Uh, what's it called? Bartender. Bartender software that comes with your Eddie. Okay, see you in a second.